When I started this challenge, I thought that it would be a lot easier than some of the other games that I had attempted. Like racing games and action games where there's no break in the action. This is turn-based, so I thought it would be easy. But I was extremely mistaken and quite foolish. But the question is, can I beat Mario Party 64 playing at 3 times speed? The first thing you're going to notice is Wario's very awkward standing animation here. Not a fan of that. Of course, as it's going to be a recurring theme throughout this video, I am in dead last place. This is pretty much hopeless, which is what my teacher said to me when I was trying to learn my ABCs. Middle school was a rough time for me. But as you can see in this map, it's pretty basic. We just have to get around, collect 20 coins, and buy the star. And whoever has the most stars at the end wins. At the end of every turn, there's a mini game where we all compete against each other. This is where it's going to be difficult. As I pretty quickly realized, most of these games depend on how quickly you can spam the buttons. Now at three times speed, I would have to hit the buttons three times faster than normal to keep up with the NPCs, so there's no way that I'm going to be able to keep up with them on most of these mini-games. The only ones I'll be able to win are the strategy-based ones. If you land on those green question marks, a boulder rolls through and forces everyone to the other part of the map, so it makes it difficult to get to the space with Toad on it to buy the star. Okay, so we're starting our second minigame now. This one's Keep Away, so this is a cooperative one. This is I'm going to have the best chance of winning these, because basically I can almost do nothing and let them win. For some reason, Peach just threw it away, but we still got it. So we all get 10 coins from this. This was a nice win for me. I need these coins. It seems that Luigi's decided that he's the main character, and we're all just living in his world. So now we're going to have to play a Bowser minigame, thanks to Luigi, and of course this is one of the spamming buttons as fast as you can games, so that I have absolutely no chance of winning this. I am furiously hitting the buttons on my controller, and I'm nowhere near first place. So the 10 coins that I just got from that Keep Away minigame are now erased, and I've gotten two ones in a row. Again, we have a minigame that requires us to spin the control stick as fast as we can. I do not feel like burning a hole through my palm, so I'm not even going to try to win Tug of War. Luigi can have it. Not a huge surprise that Luigi gets the first star. So this mini game is basically musical chairs. When the music stops, the first person to get on the mushroom wins. I was shockingly close to winning that. In fact, I'm not really even sure what happened. Let's watch it again real close in slow motion. Okay, so it looks like Wario bounced off my head and got the chest. Looks like main character Luigi got himself another minigame. Oh man, this would be impossible for a human at three times speed. That was nice, another useless, pointless turn for me. Okay, so I actually have a good feeling about this one. I think this is a game that I might be able to win, even though it's three times speed, as long as I can stay in the middle of the island. Well, I did it. I was able to survive, and now I get ten coins, which would put me in third place. Very exciting. Fortunately for Peach, she stepped on the question mark, so she does not get the star.
This is going to be a nightmare, and they are going to steal all of my coins. I need to just do my best to just jump away and not be anywhere near them. Oh, there goes five already. I actually got five from Peach. Now I just need to run away. If I can break even, that'd be a win. Don't judge me. I want to keep my coins. Man, Mario Party 1 was so cutthroat compared to the new ones. So this turn I need an 8 to get the star, and of course I get a 7. Is it me, or is there something deeply unsettling about this minigame? So here we see Wario trying to ruin my life. He now makes it so I cannot get the star. Thank you, Wario. I would love a turn where Luigi doesn't land on a minigame space and do something horrible to the rest of us. This may be time for us to get our revenge on Luigi, but it's probably going to be so fast I might even be able to hit him with a hammer. Look at that, I'm back to where I was, and I don't have enough coins to get the star. I have no idea how I was able to do that, but I certainly needed those coins. Now I have enough to buy the star if I can get there in time before somebody lands on another green space. Gosh, that looks painful. And what a shocker! Luigi got himself a minigame. This is one of those minigames that as a kid you would just tear a hole through your palm trying to spin that controller stick. Can you believe it? I actually got a star. Not only that, I get some of Luigi's coins. Things are looking up for Mario. Oh, this might be good. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. So I have to give Wario all of my coins. This is just the dumbest minigame. Why would they even include this? There's like no skill involved, and it's boring for everyone else just sitting there. Ah, 
Oh goody, what's Luigi gonna do to us now? Okay, well, at least that doesn't affect me, but Luigi, can he just get a normal square for once? Of course, I don't have enough money to get a star. Thank you, game. Hey, what do you know? My favorite mini game again. This is so much fun while I sit there and watch a chest go down a tube. Wait, what? Peach is stealing my star? This is like the worst game ever made. Well, this is actually good for me, but she still took my star. Wow, can anyone believe it? Luigi landed on a minigame square. It's, like, unheard of. Wow. Deserve that. He looked like a complete fool falling to his death there. Oh, so this mini game again, there's no way I'm gonna be able to alternate those buttons that fast at three times speed. This is just a free one for the NPCs. I know I'd be negative, but this game is making me super salty. I guess this is a lot about just timing. When I see the chest get to a certain position, I just flick the control stick. So it doesn't really matter what speed the game is playing at. But unfortunately, I reel it in really slow. But I still was able to get two chests, or one chest at least, so that was nice. Ten coins. The thing about this minigame is that I can't even do it when it's not on 3 times speed, so this is going to be bad. Why didn't he just steal a star? Well, thank you, Peach. Now uh, I'm nowhere near the star again. Why does Peach have it out for me so bad? Oh, and I got a one! Yay!
You know, I was pressing the button as fast as I could. Come on. Why does this game hate me so much? Oh boy, this isn't going to be good. Uh, the good part of that is that... Oh wait, I lost all of my coins and they... Oh my gosh. And then Wario gets a star. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if anybody remembers, but Nintendo actually got sued for these mini games that were requiring you to spin the control stick real fast, and now on the Switch version there's like a disclaimer saying not to use your palm. But there's actually some pretty interesting YouTube videos that talk about this. Imagine what the world would be like if I didn't get like ones and twos every roll. And this game again. Why is the game making us do like the same six mini games over and over again? I think this game set a record for the most Bowser spaces. Oh, and of course it's this one, the one that I can't reasonably do at three times speed. I always thought this was such a cool mini game when I was a kid. But it is a little easy to win when you're the guy in the tightrope. As long as you go slow and stay in the middle, it's pretty much impossible to knock you off. Yeah, so this is the last turn. Looks like I'm gonna get fourth place. Oh man, that was an anticlimactic end to Mario. And this game again, alright. Well, I guess this answers the question, can I win Mario Party 64 at three times speed? The answer is no, I cannot. I will get fourth place, and it will be a terrible game. I'll do awful, everything will go against me, and I'll look like a fool. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you could laugh at my misfortune, and if I ever try this challenge again, I hope I do better.